everyone, Day here bringing you another episode of my Femicom Detective Club, The Missing Air Let's Play. So last time we learned that Yuri, who is Kiku's daughter, is the missing heir. She has been missing for 20 years. And we got that information from Kanji. So therefore, we're going to hop back in and see Whoa. if we can learn some more information from Kanji, who we are going to return to since we were last speaking to Zenzo. And he told us that his son has had a couple of brushes with the law. So therefore, we're going to see what we can learn today. And with that said, we're going to hop into chapter two, the last will. I will load this data. And let's see if we can get a nice little recap here. Your memory is still in tatters. You continue your investigation into the death of Kiku Ayashiro, chairwoman of Ayashiro Corporation. She died suddenly in the night her will was read. Kanji Ayashiro, Azusa Kasuga, and Jiro Ayashiro, Kiku's nephews and niece, were present for the will reading. However, that day, Akane noticed Kanji's son Akira was in the mansion. You discover some kind of burn mark on one of the tatami mats in the room where Kiku's body was discovered. But neither Zenzo nor Akane know where it came from. Disturbed by the shock of finding Kiku's body, Akane is constantly frightened of everything around her. Okay, so the thing is, I wanna go back up to that second to last paragraph there, and it says, but neither Zenzo nor Akane know where it came from. I actually did forget to mention the burn mark. But the thing is, I think Akane does know something about that burn mark because she was fearful when looking at it. She didn't say anything about it, sure, but that doesn't mean she doesn't know anything about it. So that's our little recap. We're going to hop back in. We're going to go over to where Kanji is, who's still most likely in the living room, even though he was livid that we had to leave him in the living room. What's going on? Why did you make me wait? You made me smoke again. <laughs> Before I speak to you, you said something about smoking again. I want to check this. Is the ashtray clean still? The ashtray is clean and polished. How did you smoke again, sir? But anyways, I have no idea about Akira. I told you, Akira didn't even know the will was going to be read. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. An attorney named Kanda was involved in drafting the will. New information, huh, Kanda? Let's see who Kanda is. What can you tell me about the lawyer, Kanda? He is the legal advisor for Ayashiro Corporation. The chairwoman trusted him a lot. We consult with him often. Are you done? I really am a busy man. Yes, for now. I appreciate your concern, Mr. Kanji. And he teleports out of here too. So, um... Let me see. I don't know. Can I... Let's just try to speak to Zenzo. I have no idea what else to do right now. Yes, can I help you? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out here. Because you're still in the room, so... About Kanda. Can you tell me about the lawyer, Kanda? He is the legal advisor for both the Ayashiro family and Ayashiro Corporation. Mistress Kiku really trusted him. As Sir Kanji mentioned, Sir Kanda was present for the reading of the will. Come to think of it, Sir Kishimoto, you've never met Sir Kanda before, have you? Well, jeez Louise, did, when, when would I have time to have met this person? Or if I did meet this person, I probably don't remember them because of the fact that I lost my memories. Um, can I get more information about Kanda then? Like, where are they located? He used to... Yeah, so... Hmm. I have no idea what to do at this point. Because I highly doubt I could take anything. Like, what if I wanted to take this... Oh, not the phone. Oh. That, I did not... Okay. That is very intriguing. Wait, hold up. I actually want to see if I could, like, dial 911 or something on this phone. I don't know what the Japanese emergency hotline number is, though. Anything? No? Okay. 
I actually have to type in something that will actually dial out, I suppose. But anyways, I want to see if I could take this notebook. Because sometimes if you take a pencil... If I need to take notes, I'll use my own notepad. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I don't know if I want to go back to Kiku's bedroom. What can I learn from there? Akane? Is she still here? I guess she is. Yes, can I help you? I can speak to her, maybe, about... Hmm, I don't really want to... Let's see if she says something new about the burn mark. No, she's just terrified. What's going on? She seems so concerned. The doors are opened now. What they know? Please, just don't ask me anything else. Well, I will respect your wishes for now. However, if I do have to speak to you, I shall do so. The lantern is a little moldy. Yeah, I knew that. Can I go out to the yard? The greenery is gorgeous in this yard. Mm. Now, I've already checked the pond, too. It sounds like something jumped out of the water. Maybe they have a koi pond. So, I can't... Can I remember anything yet? No. No dice. Travel back to the living room. Okay, so I'm missing something because I can't leave this area. So therefore, I have to do something that I'm not doing. Can I call Akira? Sir Akira isn't here right now. Okay. I don't need to speak to Kanji. He just left, so therefore I think I'm 100% done with him for now. Mm. Zenzo? May I help you? Let me just try to t talk all the way through. Because at this point, I have no idea. Well, I don't know. Actually, I probably have to keep pressing what's her name. Because she knows something about the floor. She definitely knows something about the floor. And I think that Zenzo here has told me everything he knows. So I'm going to go back over to Kiku's bedroom. I know I'm doing a lot of hopping around. I have to try to figure out what it is I'm missing. And right now, the only person that I can really talk to is Akane. And she doesn't want to speak. She she gums up. What's going on? She seems concerned. Let me actually just keep pressing this one. Please don't ask me anything else. Well, that's all she's saying. So yeah, I, I can't do anything with that. What about if I... Oh, she really doesn't want to talk to me at all anymore. Akane. What's going on? She seems concerned. What's hap- Okay, so the burn mark... Akane. Hmm. She just gums up. What's she seems concerned. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with her, though. I don't know anything, okay? I don't believe you! Can I call Zenzo over here? I think Zenzo is in the living room. If I want to talk to him, I should just go over there, okay? She seems quite distressed. I don't... I have no idea. I feel like I am on the cusp of learning something here. I have no idea what, what it is I'm missing. I can call her. Let me see if I can t speak to him. Well, no, I can't. Hmm. So, I didn't actually finish going down all the... I'd like to know more about Miss Yuri and the symbol of the successor. Hmm, I think you'd have to speak with Sir Jiro or Lady Azusa. Lady Azusa should be home shortly. As for Lady Yuri, some of the villagers may know something about her. Thank you, Mr. Zenzo. I think I'll go and interview some villagers. Then you should go to the station. You are sure to find villagers there. I did get some more information, though. As interesting as that may be, I really did. Let me see something. I want to actually... Why do I keep pressing that button? Um, so... Because I'm actually not looking at my controller and I just wanted to press in the home button instead of the plus button. So, 
Kanda is new information. The Ashihiro family's lawyer and Ayashiro's corporation's advisor. Helped prepare Kiku's will. Was present for her will reading. I read everything else. And I guess that's everything. I wanted to look spotted was shaken by the burn mark. And hearing about Akane too does things to her as well. Well anyways, I'm going to start with the nearby people. I saw a woman over here. I've also seen this woman a lot in like trailers and stuff. Excuse me. Yeah, what is it? May I have a quick word with you? Oh, are you the detective people were talking about? Sure, what do you want to ask me? We have a long list of things that we can discuss today. Can you tell me anything about the Ayashiro family? That family is cursed. Their wealth is built upon the grudges and suffering of many people. I can't say that Kiku being murdered is just a rumor either. Built upon the grudges of many people. Another villager said they only hear bad things about that family too. I mean, Kiku seems okay, but her husband is a horse of a different color. We know nothing about him. Let me just double check. The Ayashiros are cursed. Their wealth is built upon the grudges and suffering of many people. Sound like horrible people, the legend. I heard that there is a legend pertaining to the Ayashiro family in this village. They say Kiku will rise from the grave on the night of the full moon. I wonder who the victim would be this time. If I were you, I'd get out of here. Stick your nose in their business and Kiku will. Yeesh, how dreadful. The night of the full moon? That's a little creepy. We have something documented in our notepad about that. Okay, let's continue asking her questions. She's very informative. Akira, who's that? I do see a boorish man walking around here from time to time. You talking about him? Yeah, possibly. Who's that? I've never heard of him. Okay, what about Yuri? She was beautiful and loved by everyone. She was the lone flower that bloomed within that curse-ridden family. Yeah, I figured you might know about her. What, have you heard anything about the symbol? I heard that the Ayashiro family has a symbol that proves who the true successor is. You know anything about that? A symbol to prove the true successor? I don't know about that, but it sure sounds creepy to me. Do you know anything? All will be revealed on the night of the full moon. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> like, not at all. Just want to make sure I questioned her about everything that I could get. See, I could get more information. Miss Kiku crawls out of her grave on the night of a full moon. There will be another victim. I know it. <laughs> oh, jeez. The details are so uncanny in the animation. I don't know an Akira. Are you talking about the boorish man I see walking around here from time to time? Well, I guess that's everything. Can I remember anything yet? Nothing is striking me as something I've known about. Can I speak to the station clerk? Our dear darling station clerk knows things too. Yes, may I help you? Um, about Yuri and the symbol? I don't think I've questioned him about this. Never heard of that. Okay, what about Yuri herself? Do you know Yuri Aya Ayashiro? I heard she was quite beautiful, but what's the matter? Oh, it's nothing. Working here, I hear all sorts of rumors. Okay, what about the rumors? I heard she was quite beautiful, but oh, well, I wanted to know about the rumors. What do you know? I don't know anything else. Sorry. You said that you heard about. Wait, what about this? The dead coming back to life? Just thinking about it gives me the chills. Did anything else about this? Nothing? Okay. What about Akira? Hmm, never heard that name before. What about Kanda? 
Never heard that one either, eh? So I guess I asked him about all I could ask him? Yeah, you told me that already. I do know that you have. I have no idea. Supposedly the mountain over there is called Myojin Mountain. It overlooks the whole village. Remember? Nothing. I remember absolutely nothing. Guess I have to go back over to her? I think I got all I can from him. Oh, you still have some questions. Not particularly. I just don't know what else I'm supposed to... The station clerk seems to take his job seriously. And the villager? This person must be another villager. Okay, so... I have no idea what else I'm supposed to ask. Aha! If you really want to know about Yuri Aya here... Aya Shiro, you should ask Dr. Kumada. I'm sure he has tons to share. Dr. Kumada? I can leave now. We're going back to the Kumada clinic now. Let's see what Mr. Kumada can tell us now. Yeah, we're gonna see, no, we're going straight to him. I was gonna ask if we were gonna see the nurse. Hey, Dr. Kumada. Oh, you need something? Yes, I have questions about Yuri. <laughs> Please don't go hottie on me. Please. I don't need that to happen. What's the matter, doctor? Your cheeks are getting red. Oh, he's a pervy sage. Come on. It's nothing. Are you going to tell me? Did you have a thing for Yuri? What are you talking about? If you want to know more about Miss Yuri, you should ask Genshin. Go on. <laughs> okay, that's a nice heart you had there. Oh, come on, there's something to be ashamed of, you know? I'm not. I said go. Get out of here. <laughs> I do want to ask you about the symbol. Are you talking about the Ay Ayashiro's family symbol of the successor? I have heard of it, but... I don't know what it is. Okay, Kagura Temple. Thanks for your time. Hurry up now. <laughs> oh boy, please don't tell me you're trying to jack one off. I can't take it. Kagura Temple. <laughs> the cemetery. Hi, Genshin. It's been a while. Mm, oh, is you. What's the matter? Hello, sir. I'm actually back because I have a few questions. Oh, dear, dearie, dearie. Talk is usually the first one. That's why I pressed on that. So, Yuri. What do you know about Yuri Ayashiro? I knew you would come across that name eventually. Very well. I shall tell you. Yuri is Miss Kiku's only daughter. Yes, I am aware, but I heard she's missing right now. Right, the thing about Yuri is, she's a werewolf. <laughs> 20, year, 20 years ago, she met a young man who was visiting this vill village on business. Eventually, they fell in love. However, Miss Kiku's husband strongly objected to the relationship. He didn't approve of the boy's social stature, but Yuri had already made up her mind and decided to elope with him. So that's what happened. Yuri was still her only child, so Miss Kiku must have given her the symbol of the successor. I couldn't tell you what the two of them are up to now, but I truly hope they're happy. So she got married. Eloped, rather. Hmm. How come no one else told me about this? Okay, we're going to travel back. Oh, I can't go. I can't go there. Actually, let me see. I probably have more information I could pull from this guy. So I guess I'll be able to go to the temple at one point. They're showing me that I could go to the temple and get here. Hmm, oh, is you? What's the matter? I left too soon, apparently. I heard the symbol is a treasured item passed down through generations. However, 
I have absolutely no idea what it looks like. Well, what you know? Miss Kiku was always so kind to me, we used to just talk and talk. It's a terrible loss. Can I get more information from you? She's been missing ever since she eloped 20 years ago. About, wait, do you know about Kanda? Is this new? Yes, he's Ayashiro's corporation's legal advisor. Miss Kiko seems to have trusted him. Okay, what about Akira? Do you know anyone by the name of Akira? Ah, yes, Miss Kiko treated Akira as if she were, as if he were her grandchild. But apparently, Akira only saw her as just an old lady willing to give him allowance. Ooh, that's ugly. That's definitely ugly. Though she was aware of this, she still adored him because she never had any grandchildren of her own. Documented. I'm learning quite a bit from this guy. Do you really need to hear it again? No, if I've already heard it once, I've heard it enough. No, never mind. It seems like the villagers aren't the biggest fan of the Ayashiro family. Oh, that was me. I suppose that's true. I believe Miss Kiku's husband behaved quite greedily back when he was in business, but that was a long time ago. That's pretty much all I can offer. Thank you. Okay, now I think I, I think I have covered everything. Am I supposed to go back to this guy? Let's go back here first. Oh, you have more questions? Possibly. I mean, I don't know where else I could go right now, so... Go ask Genshin about Miss Yuri. Okay. Off topic, I guess. Do you know a na man named Akira? Hmm, never heard of him. Aren't you the only doctor around here? Oh, are you talking about that shady looking fellow that visits Miss Kiku's only occasion? Do you know anything about him? Never heard the name, but... Oh, never mind. Same thing. Same thing. He's the Ayashiro family's legal advisor, although I've never met him in person. Yeah, I think that's everything. He's not going to tell me too much more than that. Miss Yuri was truly stunning. <laughs> I can't seem to get him out of here. Can I remember anything yet? No. Nah. No, I cannot. So I... Did I learn anything new enough for me to actually broach it with these people? Probably not. Probably not. About Yuri. Haha, if you really want to know about Yuri, are you sure? You should ask that to Kamada. I'm sure he has tons to share. Hmm, I think he was blushing despite his age. Maybe he had feelings for Yuri. So that's new. I can't go anywhere yet. I really can't. I wonder if I have to pull something from that guy. No matter how much he wants to say otherwise. Yeah, see, he's saying, oh, you have more questions. I don't know. I might. I don't want to. I want to ask you. Tell me what I want to know. <laughs> One more time. All right. So, what about the symbol? Okay, no. Hmm, I only know what I've told you so far. Oh, come to think of it, Azusa came today too. She picked up some medication and left a minute ago. I'm sure she's back at the mansion by now. Sounds like Azusa was here today too. Zinzo did mention that she'd return shortly. Okay, we're gonna travel back to the Ayashiro residence which just became available to me. Welcome back, Sir Kishimoto. Lady Azusa just returned. She's in the living room. Thank you. <sighs> I guess we're doing this now, huh? Oh, Mr. Detective, can I help you? Yes, I have a question for you. Do you have a minute? Very well, but make it quick. I have a lot to ask you about, if you will let me anyway, but I'm going to start from the bottom. 
I don't think Kanji cares at all about my aunt's personal assets. More than that, I think he's more interested in having full control of the Ayashiro Corporation. He's probably praying for Yuri to never come back. I wouldn't know. That really has nothing to do with me. Hmm. You're the middle child, aren't you? That's my question. And besides, aren't you a detective? You're so snippy. Stop screwing around here and go find Yuri. She needs Yuri in order to receive her portion of the inheritance. That must be why she wants me to find her. Hmm. So it's like basically she can't benefit. So chances are she probably has little to do. She's like at a 25, 20% as far as heavy hands in this. He's the legal advisor for the family, right? I heard he's clever. Supposedly, he's advising the corporate side of things, too. Oh, I may have something about Jiro that might be of interest to you. The one most troubled by my aunt's passing could be Jiro. What do you mean by that? There were lots of conflicts between Kanji, the CEO, and Jiro, the managing director within the company. Kanji, eh? Kanji made it seem like they were, like, working together pretty pretty well, pretty well. Kanji was kept on a tight leash while Aunt Kiku was around. But now that he's gone, he has free reign over the company. So long as Kanji is around, Jiro will have to live in his shadow. Sounds like Kanji and Jiro are on bad terms. Which is opposite of what Kanji himself made it seem like. Perhaps Jiro is the one, well, actually, yeah. Don't want to reread that. What about Akira? Do you know anything about Akira? Yeah, he's my brother's sorry excuse for a son. I bumped into him on the day the will was read. Oh, so he was here. Come to think of it, I think Akira was sneaking around talking to someone. What? Who was he talking to? Why don't you figure that out for yourself, Mr. Detective? You, you, you're so snippy. Just tell me what I want to know. Darn it. Will you tell me about the wheel now, pretty please? Did Kanji tell you about that already? I have a sore throat, you know. Don't make me use my voice for no reason. You're getting loud for no reason. You're messing your own voice up. Darn it. About Kiku. It seems like Aunt Kiku's words were absolute. Even within the Ayashiro Corporation. Oh, I didn't want to press on that again. Any more news about Yuri, though? You're wasting your time here. Why don't you go and look for Yuri already? <laughs> Anything else about Kanji? He's probably praying for Yuri to never come back. Okay, and what do you know altogether? I don't know what to tell you. Are you suspicious of us? Are you even a detective? Jeez. I have to cover everything, alright? And I think I did. I want to say that I 100% did. Yes, may I help you? I don't think I could speak to him about anything, though. Oh, that's right. I checked with Akane. But that day, Sir Akira was... Seen carrying a large package and wandering around the storage behind the mansion. I wonder what he was doing. Storage? A large package? Why wasn't any of this stuff told to me before? <laughs> so there's a storage space here. The storage is behind the mansion. There are many valuable antiques inside, so they, ke they keep it locked. Can I go there? Wait, I want to ask about the storage space, uh, space again. It's full of valuable antiques, so they keep it locked. Hmm. Can I get out from Kiku's bedroom? No, it's shut again. M Miss Akane? Uh -huh. <laughs> 
I can't ask her about... Please, don't ask me any more questions! Please, stop asking me questions already! I don't know, I think I saw her doing something. Well, I guess I, I... You don't know anything. I don't know. I, I can't believe you. Like, you're, you're like the most suspicious person here right now. And I know you discovered the body. So Kiku died on her bed in this room. I can't seem to do anything, though. I guess I didn't finish getting enough information yet. The fact that I could examine the book, though... It tells me that it might mean something later. And I can't get anything from her. Why can't like why can't I ask her about the storage space? There's no way he'd be here. Yet, I guess. So I guess I'll go back to the living room. She's not offering up anything right now. What do you want? Go on with your business. Oh, I can ask her about the storage space. What's your problem? What about it? Okay, then. Stop making me talk so much. I have a sore throat. Oh, she can't, I can't talk to her no more? Nope. I don't want her to kick me out of this house, so I'm going to stop. Well, I can use the phone. I don't think I could take this. I got my own notebook. I don't think I could take this. So. I can make a phone call, but I still don't have any numbers to dial. Can I remember anything yet? Like, did I do any of this before? I'm not, I wasn't trying to speak to you at that point. Um. Zenso? Can I still speak to you? Yes, may I help you? Let's see. Maybe I didn't ask you about everything I could. Nothing outside of what I told you already. Okay, so what about... More about the storage space, possibly? Nope. It's locked. He's a busy man. He seems to be working every minute of the day. I don't know. I can't ask him anything more. Where is Akira at? I need to see him. Seen carrying a large package and wandered around the storage behind the mansion. <laughs> Can I speak to him? Like, I, he is still a, a valuable into all this I haven't spoken to. I can't speak to her anymore. She seems strong-willed. Why does she have a sore throat? I feel like there's nothing in gaming that means nothing. <laughs> I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole, though. I don't know. You So you have no idea where he is right now. Is that what you're telling me? Well, the only person I could ask about or things I could ask about... She seems scared. What? She left. She left. So... Did she come this way? No, I guess not. Well, I guess I can examine it again. Wow, she literally left again. The, ta the tatami mat is burned. It's flower display. I wonder who did the arrangement. The paper lantern. It's a paper lantern. It looks like they actually use it for lighting, not just for interior decoration. Um, 
I don't see anything else. I can't go outside. Which is unfortunate. But I guess it is getting late. So, yeah, nothing else can be examined. Call engage. So I could call her back, maybe? Let's see what happens. She's not around. So she literally left. And he's not here. Hmm. I don't want to quit the investigation, so let's go back to the living room. Someone has to know something. I can't... I probably still can't speak to her. Can I speak to you? Mm. About Kiku. No, it doesn't look like I can. Nothing outside of what I spoke to, told you already. Do I have a phone number? I just don't understand. Yeah, yo, use your notepad. Because I can use the phone, but... What would I be dialing? I don't think I could take this. Okay, that's just a yellow mark on the table. Hmm, what about the drawer? I don't think I could take this, but can you examine it? Let's see. I'm going to examine this the shelf. I shouldn't examine it without permission. Okay, I think that's literally everything. Um, can I get to the storage space? Okay, nope. Oh, I'm at, I'm at the roadblock. I didn't think it would hit so soon, but I actually have no idea. I'm. Wait. Yes, Mistress Kiku's husband never approved of their relationship, driving Lady Yuri away from home. But even so, Lady Yuri is Mistress Kiku's only daughter. It's only natural that she should be the successor of this home. Yeah, most likely. If only Yuri would take her rightful place here, at, as the will states. I wonder where she could be. Is that it? Um, can I get more information about anyone else? Can you tell me about Mr. Kanda, the lawyer? He's a great man. When Mistress Kiku passed, he comforted me and allowed me to express my feelings. He was the one who suggested I hire a detective. That's when he told me about an ace detective named Otani, who worked at the Usugi Detective Agency. What? Really? If you'd like to meet him, why don't you try calling him? Sir Kanda's office num phone number is one... Wait, on speed dial, pound one six, or star one six. So, I don't want to call her, you. Aha. You've reached the Conda Law office. I'm sorry, but you've called outside of office hours. Please call back another time. <laughs> I love the expression so freaking much. I don't blame them. It is pretty late. Yeah, it's probably about time for us to go home. I probably need more information though. Sir Conda's office's phone number is on speed dial. Star 16. I did that. What do you want? Get on with your business. So I can't speak to her again. Is it about Kanda? You mean the legal advisor for the family? Yes. You're wasting your time here. Why don't you go and look for Yuri already? Okay, so... What can I ask her about? Cause it unlocked again. She was talking about having a sore throat. 
But now I can speak to her again. Yeah, I know that wouldn't have anything. Oh, she's back. She's back mummed up. Darn it. Yes, may I help you? Because I can't leave yet. So I have a certain amount of options. No, I actually don't. Hmm. Can I remember something? Nope. Huh. Because I can't, now that I look at it, I can't even leave this room. What am I missing here? Um, let me let me try examining the phone and calling and calling him again. Maybe I just missed him by a second or something. Oh, I actually can't call anyone. So I did what I could with that. Wow. Okay, it's like I should be able to figure this out, right? I don't have that many options. I don't think I could take this. <laughs> Please don't, and especially not where my hand was. Um, so she's not gonna speak to me anymore. I guess all I could do is speak to Zinzo. Yes, may I help you? I truly don't know. Nothing outside. Oh, uh, were you able to ask the villagers about Lady Yuri? Yes, I was. There are a bunch of other rumors floating around, it seems. I'm sure you've heard some of the creepy ones. Yes. I heard that Miss Kiku would resurrect on the night of the full moon. Definitely cre creepy. The villagers love to create drama. All they do is talk. Now that you mention it, I believe the full moon rises tonight. The full moon is tonight. I better get back to the office soon. It's almost midnight. I don't want to worry Ayumi. I'm about to run into something, aren't I? Yusugi's office. Thank you. I think I'm all done for the day. Is that so? Well, please, take care on your way home. Excuse me. I don't know why I'm bowing in person. Okay, I made it back safely. Welcome back. Had a long day, huh? I just got back... As well. Oh yeah, you were out ex in doing your own explorations. You were out investigating this late too. Yep. Anyway, about Ayashiro Corporation, I heard they're facing a lot of issues now that Kiku, who had total control before, is gone. Apparently, it's due to the worsening relationship between the president and the managing director. So that would be the brothers, right? What? For now, it seems like Kanji has the upper hand as the president. But Jiro won't stay silent for long. I'm sure the tension between them will only continue to grow. Yeah, see, I, I knew he, dog on Kanji was suspicious as heck. He was lying the whole time. In other words, Kanji will be faced with a whole new set of issues. I see. Thanks, Ayumi. That helps a lot. Awesome! Seems like my hard work paid off. Let's organize all the information we gathered today. All right, time to speculate. Let's start with Kanji. With Kiku deceased, he effectively has full control of Ayashiro Corporation, unless her daughter returns. But the situation clearly isn't ideal for Jiro. So the only one who really benefits right now from Kiku's death is Kanji. Azusa seems desperate to get her share of the inheritance. She's married. I'm surprised her husband has nothing. As for the woman named Yuri, mentioned in a will, who is currently MIA, she is supposed to fully inherit Kiku's rights as chairwoman. And one more thing. What was Akira doing near, near the storage? We're starting to get a good picture of the Ayashiro family and the inner workings of the Ayashiro Corporation. But our main mission is to uncover the truth behind Kiku's death. Something which we haven't made much progress in. Unless you really have and you just haven't placed two and two together yet. We shouldn't rush it. 
I got your back, so let's take our time and conduct a thorough investigation. You're right. Thanks, Ayumi. But for now, it's late. Let's get some shut-eye and continue the investigation tomorrow. I'll dig deeper into the corporation and see if I can gather more information. I should probably check in with Amachi tomorrow. I haven't contacted him since I left his place, so he might be worried about me. And I think this is a good place to end, starting chapter 3. The first murder- oh boy, someone's gonna get murdered. Oh, I want to jump in already, but no, this is where I'm going to end it. Utsugi Detective Agency, we're about to begin a fresh new day in Chapter 3 next time. So, with that said, I hope you all have enjoyed this episode. We have learned so much. What I really want to know about is that storage room. What has, um, her name's not Akane, is it? What has the maid freaked out she because it's, it's like i feel like the son is gonna be like really pivotal there he knows he is that's why we haven't spoken to him yet when we speak to him we're definitely going to uncover some loose ends that we need to actually thread together and it, it's probably not going to put the story together but it will be information needed and necessary to like piece together why she's acting very weird She's definitely acting weird. So uh, hopefully we can learn that at least a little in the next episode. This is a fun game. I love it already. So engaging, so interesting. Everything is just awesome about it. But until next time, I hope you all have a great and wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Bye.